Okay, at least I'm giving up personality. You ended up out there with your car gone dead with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero. Your lungs would collapse in a 12 inches. I know something that size. Luck doesn't exist. I'm sad now. Oh, hey, Vanessa, I'm Rav Jim. Welcome to The Undying of Rachel Foster, sequel to The Conjuring. Nah, I'm just missing. Yeah, no. I, I don't. I believe. Wait, what's on the to do list? To do list. Fine. I think I just need to explore the house now for the. Not management key, the master key again. Yeah, I still feel like something. That storm. Yeah, Dad was into some weird stuff before. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. Yes. Mathematics in the time of the pharaohs. What the hell is wrong with Dad? So I mean. Okay, I think, yeah. I have a theory. And I hope it doesn't like ruin the whole story, but it probably did. Because there, there are a lot of books on his, what's this? Wait, what did it say? Jenkins letter. Oh yeah, Benjamin Jenkins, I don't know. So no, 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 no. Okay. Guys, I heard something. Like I know this is dumb me to do, but like, come on, it wouldn't be a horror movie if I didn't. It wouldn't be a scary game if I didn't do silly things. I want you to be in, like, I What happened? Hmm. Come on, the overlook. Wait, where's the overlook? Damn, I don't. Oh my word, why were there pictures here before? Um, did they come off? Wait. It's bloody well on upstairs, damn it. Hey, a wolf. Okay, now it's fine. I'm just tempting fate now. I'm not going to tempt fate. Here we go. No, God. Just run through it, don't worry, just run through it. How do I report? Hello? Hey, you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah, I I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, w uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you gotta not risk the biscuit. In the car. Obviously, yes. Obviously, no. Um. No! I was thinking of jogging into town. <laughs> no, why do I have to be a smart ass? If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just uh, Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. 
again. Thanks. Okay, at least I'm giving up personality. If you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a 12 inches? I know something that size. <laughs> Luck doesn't exist. Ah, uh, missy. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, wow, you're I... gonna be that kind of woman. What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. You're the mic, right? Do you hear what type of mic you use? Um... Nah, this ain't right. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Yeah. I'm going anyway now. Where's my... Where's my gravy book? Uh, dad messed with stuff. The ghost ain't got no, no problem with me. I... Okay. It's just the storm. It's just the storm. It's just the storm. Just the storm. Just the storm. Damn it, why did I close the door? <laughs> now it's frozen over now. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. Oh, I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. Are you sure? Think so. Maybe someone. <sighs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. Damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> I actually kind of like a cesspool. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypassed the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. Wow. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. <sighs> this place... I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, fine. Okay. No phone, I mean... Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. I don't think I was it's supposed to do it. It's a conspiracy, it. Uh, stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Oof. Your father, Rachel. That name. I haven't heard that name since I left. Yeah. I I'm not gonna be like. Want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. I don't even know about okay. what I'm. I'm a bit of a busybody. Damn it. Great. Now I just. I have a church. Damn. Oh. This man still went to church after this. Nah, I thought he would be excommunicated. I don't believe in that nonsense, but. Knowing people. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Ooh. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job. You're safe up there. J 
Just relax. No, I won't relax. I saw what my father was busy with. Uh, okay. Uh, later. Damn you, Irving. I can't believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. I'm gonna leave these doors open. Ah! Is this gonna be Five Nights at Freddy's? No, no, don't tell me we slept in my father's room. I do not believe it. Oh. Huh. Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, I just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but it is five nights in Freddy's. I don't know. It's five nights in Rachel's. I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like at least I won't wet myself. Um, no, I, I didn't mean. Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just. I'll call if I need you. I actually like this dynamic. <laughs> Bit of a sore spot, aren't you? Something bad will happen here. I know that for sure. Uh, I I don't trust this. Not one bit. You know, um, cause like we have, we I had okay, not me personally, but my family had an experience with haunting. Okay, I think I did. I was a kid. I don't know. Could have been anything. Irving, it's me again. Obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? Those has been forget home. what hurts, how? I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Yeah. Well, don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Mm, yeah. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? What's wrong with beans? Soup. Baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Wow. I'm getting chills. I know there's going to be some nonsense. Coin up. Wait, where's the basement? Irving. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Uh, who? Uh. Oh, farting ghost. R Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> you are spruce. I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghosts to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's long gone. My grandpa made the same joke. The one who passed on, not the one who's alive. Um, he told me of this joke of like, um, yeah, can I explain it later while playing? Well, I don't know. I'm not even sure if I have enough time, but like, there was a story of this ghost. And him and his brother, him and his, yeah, him and his youngest brother, he was the oldest of the boys, but not the oldest child. This would be the church. No, thank you. Yeah. Ah. Oh! This was in here before. Was it the boiler room? Right. It has to be the boiler room. Let's seal this. I don't want anything coming in from the church. Is this it? Yeah. How's it going? It looks real complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? 
Uh, I never I used a furnace before. What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like 220. Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. Mm -hmm. It should be more like 210 psi. Pressure's building. <gasps> oh, you saying no. I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up. Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Wow. That's a... Oh! Wow. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You wow. have no idea how grateful I am. It's Just doing my job. Kind of cute. Oh my, we're well beyond the time limit, I believe. I don't know how much I filled in, but yeah, I've, I'll tell you this goes to when we're done in the next part. Thank you, Brasa, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cue the band.